Today we're going to talk about the seven deadly mistakes that will get you suspended on Amazon. Mistake number one, violating Amazon's restricted products policy. So selling prohibited or restricted products such as items banned in certain regions, counterfeit products, or goods that require specific certifications or approvals can quickly result in a suspension. It's essential to thoroughly understand and comply with Amazon's restricted product categories and guidelines. Just because it's being sold on Amazon doesn't mean you can sell it yourself. You really need to understand what's going on, what are the rules about restricted products on Amazon. Otherwise, before you even sell your first unit, you could get your listing taken down and your products frozen at Amazon. So really check into this restricted products policy to be sure you are doing the right thing. Number two, misleading or inaccurate product listings. So making false or exaggerated claims about a product's features, benefits, or origin, or listing a product in the wrong category can lead to your suspension. So do not do that. This includes using inappropriate keywords or product titles that do not accurately describe the product or misrepresent the brand or trademark. This is often the case when you are using another brand in your listing. This can get your listing and even your account suspended. If it's not a brand that you own, you cannot use it in your listing, all right? Number three, poor seller performance metrics. Now, Amazon measures everything and they're measuring everything that you are doing as a seller. So make sure that your order defect rate is low, late shipment rate is low, and pre-fulfillment cancel rates are low. This is especially important for FBM sellers fulfilled by merchants. So if you're shipping stuff out of your warehouse or your office to Amazon customers, then you want to make sure you're shipping you have the inventory when the sales roll in that you're shipping this stuff right away when the orders come in that you're not waiting because all these types of things are going to hit your metrics if you're frequently late on shipments this can result in an account suspension this is serious now number four is customer complaints and negative feedback Frequent complaints, negative feedback, or a high number of returns can indicate to Amazon that the seller is not providing satisfactory customer experiences. This can be due to poor product quality, misrepresentation of the product, or inadequate customer service. So a high rate of negative reviews can trigger a suspension. So remember, customer is the key here. Always, always, always serve the customer. And Amazon's customers, you need to serve them absolutely over the top, okay? Now, number five, manipulating reviews or feedback. This is a major, major thing. Soliciting fake reviews, offering incentives for positive reviews, or attempting to manipulate the review system in any way, any way, is a severe violation of Amazon's policies. This also includes removing negative feedback through non-compliant methods, or attempting to manipulate seller feedback or ratings. All a big no-no, and do not do this, even if somebody says they can do it risk-free. Don't do it, all right? Get the feedback the right way. Number six, this is important for a lot of sellers because they don't really understand this law, okay? Number six is infringing on intellectual property rights, IP, okay? Selling counterfeit items, that's an easy one. Using copyrighted images or text without permission. Think Nike, or you're using their swoosh in your listing, or you're using their text, or selling products that infringe on another company's trademarks can quickly, this will quickly result in a suspension. Amazon is strict about intellectual property violations and often takes action immediately if a claim is filed. And this is key guys, if you're gonna create a bundle of a product using intellectual property from Disney, from Coca-Cola, from whatever, if you're using any type of trademarks in your bundle, make sure you have written authorization from those companies that say that clearly that says that you have the rights to sell that on Amazon or the permission to sell that on Amazon and or the permission to bundle that with other products to sell on Amazon. If you do not get this in writing, a complaint is filed for trademark, you will get suspended. You can get taken down. This is serious stuff. Keep, keep an eye on that, seriously guys. Now, number seven is violating Amazon's pricing policies. Now, 
this is a little arbitrary and actually probably actually took place more in 2020 and 2021 when there were supply date plane issues and some sellers were jacking up prices two, three, 400, 1000%. This is engaging in practices like price gouging where the price of a product is significantly increased during times of high demand, natural disasters or pandemics, right? or setting prices significantly higher than what is offered elsewhere off of Amazon, okay? So this can result in a suspension. Amazon wants to ensure fair pricing for its customers and monitors prices accordingly. So this is really important for you to keep an eye on them, making sure you are not price gouging on the platform. Just because other sellers may be doing it doesn't necessarily mean at the end of the day, they're gonna get away from it. So these are seven deadly mistakes mistakes that you could fall into seeking profit over policy, let's call it. You're seeking big profits, immediate rewards instead of building a long-term business, following Amazon's policies and procedures. You know, that these things will get you suspended and there are dozens more, okay? A good place to look at our forums on Amazon sellers or Amazon's own seller message boards within Seller Central. This is a great place to see examples of sellers saying, I've been suspended. I've been suspended for drop shipping. I'm doing this. I've been suspended for a trademark violation and this is what happened and I can't get my account back. These are great places to, to check out what's happened to other sellers so that you can learn from their mistakes. Now I hope those sellers that had those issues were able to get their accounts back eventually but you don't wanna see yourself get a lifetime ban from Amazon where it's, it's almost impossible to come back. So check out these seven issues again. I think you should rewatch this and also check out Amazon's terms of service so that you can avoid suspensions in the future. Now, if you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more guidance on how to successfully navigate the Amazon marketplace as a successful seller. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.